Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to resolve that issue whenever you updated the row, the recent PDF or the updated PDF, it's not downloading. In this example, this is my sample application and this application generates a PDF whenever there is a new sale has been created. So let's try to add a sample. Let's say this is the sale. Okay, then let's say order this. <clears throat> and this is the cart on this side. For example, this is the sale that I created and I wanted to create a PDF. Okay, so the total sales is 15. So let's say customer paid 16 and cash. So take note, the customer paid by cash, and later on, we will change it to card. So let's say, uh, let us see if the PDF is updated as well. <clears throat> okay, let's see the receipts. <clears throat> so it's a cash. I will just zoom this a little bit. As you can see here, the payment is cash. So what if I edit this transaction? So I go to, to this payments and I change the payments into the payment type into card. So I'm going to just close this. <clears throat> Let's see if the PDF is updated. Okay. So it's card now, but it doesn't change. So in order to solve this issue, I will show you how to avoid this issue. So let's go to the database first. So in my database, the table which is um, generates the PDF is the payments table. So you have to add two columns here. So first column, I'm going to name this as last updated. Then here, I'm going to name this as version. Then I'm going to go to the app editor and go to the table and regenerate the structure. Okay. Then the last updated, we keep it as date and time. Then I'm going to put a formula here, which is now and go inside make sure do not ignore this seconds yeah don't check this too. okay then it's done then the version you keep it as change counter type change counter type and then what is the target column so the target column is just simple is just the last updated and we go back to the last updated we just need to go here in the update behavior and tick this one, re re reset and edit. And then, and here you created a file. So the way I created the PDF is I uploaded a new table. Then instead of Google Sheet, I choose the Google Drive. Then locate the folder which uh, were in your PDF save, and then it goes like this. So here is my PDF from the Google Drive. So what I did, the file, the file I keep it as a text and path, I keep it as a file, and I did not show these things. Then I created a view for this table and I called it as receipt. So this is the view and the source is receipts, which is from the Google Drive. And then let's go back to the payments. And then I created this virtual column and every time I created a file, it's named, it renames the file name. So this is the file name, which is connected to my automation. So if you want to update the PDF, make sure the settings is adds and updates as well. 
okay at least it will generate a new pdf then all you have to do is naming the pdf is very important so the way i name it is just an invoice number which is the key column the pdf in order for me to have the fresh pdf pdf in case i updated the row so i'm gonna upgrade this formula to concatenate or update this formula so let's say i'm gonna just um, name this i'm gonna put a dash then we have here the change counter or we called it as version so this is the name i'm gonna copy this then i go back to the table where i generate the for the pdf so i'm going back to the file i'm gonna just paste this and insert this text.pdf. And then how to create a link. So creating a link like this here, like a link here, what I did is just a, in the behavior and then in the payments here, view receipts, I use this link to filtered view, which, which is the file, the, the file in the in the what you call this in the google drive and the file in the payments table and this plus here is to force the app to sync to make sure that i have the updated pdf okay so let's try now if we're gonna have a fresh pdf the updated pdf every time we edit the the row so i'm gonna add one one sample Let's say I order this pineapple, say two. Okay, and then okay, let's settle it by <clears throat> let's say I'm gonna settle it by card and later on we're gonna change it into cash. By the way, for the tutorial of this POS, I'm going to upload it very soon. <clears throat> for those who are interested, okay. So here, I keep it as a card. Let me just zoom with a card paid by card. What if I updated it into cash? So let's go here. So the sales are here. And this is the sales I edited and then changed to cash. And I'll close this. We will see if the if we have the link of the PDF, which is updated as well. So as, as, as you can see, it changed to number two. And all right, let's zoom. See, it changed. So I have the latest PDF.